Guap Nation, it's your boy Guapo checking in here and today I have the Jordan 5 Orange Blades of Shattered Bat Boys. You can choose whichever one you want because they go by both names basically. But y'all been paying attention to the community tab, y'all will know that. I was unsure about these but as promised, I'm going to bring y'all a review. I haven't looked at the shoe, I've seen pictures of it but I have a box right here. I haven't looked at the shoe so we'll be unboxing this slash reviewing it together. So y'all make sure y'all get some good to eat, sit back relax i'm gonna be honest about these because like i said i was i don't really know but let's just get into it and what we waiting on let's get it here's the box as y'all can see jordan 5 box they re orange blade sale in the nine and a half regular box nothing too crazy now opening it is what's gonna really tell and i'm kind of scared to open it because like i told y'all what i just said oh by the way i meant to mention i got these off goat and this is a late review because my pair came late due to goat shipping delays, but we're not gonna get into that. And yeah, so let's do it. I'm about to pop the top. We working with, just to let y'all know, the goat authentication sticker right here. Got both of those. Paper, usual paper, nothing too crazy. Let me, let me pull these out the box real quick. Right, give me a second. Give me a second to get right. The Jordan 5 Orange Blades. Hold on. Let me get that focus right. And I'm going to be real with y'all. These aren't as bad as I thought. According to the pictures. Because the pictures didn't do it no justice. These aren't as bad. But would I keep them? Nah, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'd give these like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. I don't like this netting up here. It, it's usually when you get Jordan 5s, it's usually this leather material that you can see right here. But for some reason, they wanted to switch it up and put netting up here. And like the aged pod look, as you can see these pods on the side, they have like an aged look or like a, a cell color, basically to give it that aged look. And I mean, they tried to do something different. I'm not going to lie. It's not horrible, but they could have did without that. Just let that be leather, white, how, how it usually is with 5s. But Overall, like I said, if I had to give it a rating, I'm giving it like a seven out of 10. You gotta really know how to pull these off though. You gotta know how to wear them for sure. But I mean, hey, if you can, if you can pull them off, by all means, do your thing, cop these if you can. They're going for basically retail on StockX, so it shouldn't be hard to get your hands on these if y'all want to get them. But yeah, you know, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know what to say about these, but let's get into some details of the shoe. Going around on the bottom part of the shoe, you have that white leather going all the way around. You have this net material on the top with the aged pods right here. I call them aged pods because they have the aged look, you know, the cell color basically makes it look aged like it's been worn. By the way, wear your shoes, y'all. I don't know why these sneakerheads don't be wearing their shoes all the time. Not saying every sneakerhead, but a lot of people don't wear their shoes for whatever reason. Wear your shoes, you guys. That's why you buy shoes to wear them. But I like, I want to say I like the age look, but at the same time, I don't. So either way, it's, we talking about the, the specifics of the shoe, not my opinion anymore. But they have this netting at the top right here. On the back, you have that black jump man, orange and black midsole going all the way around with those shark teeth right there. You have the cell bottom with that orange jump man right there. And on the tongue, you have the orange jump man with the gray tongue and the white laces with the black lace lock. Nothing too crazy, but you know, they're decent. They're decent. It's, it's a decent shoe. It's not the best thing ever, but it's not the worst thing either. I feel like if they would have took that netting off, the netting is really what's killing it for me. And I feel like a lot of people, if they would have took that netting off and just left it like a regular five, everything would have been good. But overall, seven out of 10. If you want to cop these, you should be able to get your hands on these. It's not going to be too hard to get these because a lot of people didn't really go for these like that. And yeah, overall, it's all right. Also forgot to mention on the inside, you had that black jump man with the orange insole. And we about to get these on feet. There's nothing really too much more to talk about. I told y'all how I feel about them, my opinion on it. And yeah, I don't think I'll be keeping these. I'm gonna be real with y'all, but it's a decent little shoe. If you want to cop it for basically retail, it's a decent little shoe to get. You got to know how to wear it though. You got to know how to wear it for sure. But we about to get into this on feet Guap Nation. I appreciate y'all for tuning in each and every video. Without y'all, I would not be where I am today. So I thank y'all. And you know your boy supplies the best on feet on YouTube. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's just get into it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. 
to join the Guap Nation family. And until next time, Guap Nation, I appreciate y'all and we out of here.